Hey gamers, it's Grind This Game here with a bit of a guide on fuel and oil. So once you've unlocked uh, oil at your hub uh, and you hold down C, you can change what you're scanning for. Hit crude oil and you'll be able to scan for oil. I'm pretty far away from my base here. I think I'm around 600 meters from my base. It's over that way. Uh, so once you find the oil, uh, it kind of looks like this. Nice little gooey patch. And they usually come in clusters of two or three. Uh, there's three normal ones here. So one there, one there, and one over there. I've already built a refinery on it. Now you can build a refinery refinery directly on it, or you can you can put some foundations down first on top if you want it to kind of align to a grid. So I'll just do that first. You can do the same thing with the miners. It just makes it a little tidier. You don't need to do this though. And then on top of that, you build under power, build, oh sorry, under production, you build uh, the oil pump. So I'll just stick one here. I'm going to face it kind of to the right here. And I've already built one here. It's already set up. Now the normal ones, they pump out uh, crude oil at 120 per minute. But you can add um, power shards. I'm going to add, well, I'll just explain it before you add power shards, but 120 per minute can supply uh, two oil refineries. So if we go up here, I've built one oil refinery. So here we are. Here's the good old oil refinery. See, it takes in 60 per minute crude oil and it pumps out 37.5 fuel per minute. And when you go to burn the fuel in the fuel generator, which is this big monstrosity here, you can see the burn time is 5 seconds. And if you do some math, uh, it works out to about 12 fuel per minute. So this thing supports just a little bit more than 3 fuel generators per kind of refinery. And that well that we just looked at can is pumping out 120 oil per minute, so we can support two whole refineries. And I'll, I have some space here where I'm going to build another one, just to kind of rebuild what I build here, built here. So that well, as it is right now, can support two, kind of two subunits of of this. I'm going to have to make a lot of uh, foundations here. Hopefully, I have enough concrete. If not, we can just partially do it. Oh yeah, I got lots on me. One nice way to build is to build kind of a segment out like this. And then you can quickly build without having to move your mouse very much. Quickly build the, the kind of the incoming row. This is how I like to do it. It's pretty fast. There's probably faster ways, but sometimes you make a boo-boo like that. And I like to build it on this raised platform above the ground because the ground is all these, you know, crevices and stuff and you, you want a lot of room because these things are huge. So I usually go up, I don't know, about five or six stories above the oil wells and build uh, my stuff up here. So I'm going to put in two more fuel generators. I think I have to build a back part here for it to sit on because they're really really giant. Let's get this kind of filled in. Try to as quickly as possible here. That should be good. I'll probably need some more room, but let's just see here. Put in another three fuel generators so under power fuel generator as you can see it takes three heavy modular frames five motors five circuits and 25 wire i'm not gonna have enough wire to do all this so we'll do one but if you if you hold down control it'll you'll see that green line will appear which means it's perfectly in line with your other generator and then you can move it over to the left until it's kind of right close to it so you can 
minimize the space to be between them. And then you want the orange input facing front. Like so. And then uh, you need to... I'm splitting off the oil here with a splitter. You can lay, put your splitters kind of along a conveyor line like this, which is really handy. So it's going to split off half, which is going to be 60 barrels per minute. That has to go into a refinery. I like to build my refinery kind of in the middle of the three. So it's going to go somewhere around here. And I, I'll try to make it line up with this one here. Hopefully I have enough supplies here. Let's see. Oil refinery. I need more wire, of course. Of course I need more wire. But I think I can make a bit here. I don't have to run all the way back to the base. I set up a crafting bench here because this happened before. So I'll make a bit more wire. I won't be able to repeat the whole subunit, but you can kind of get the idea. So I want it to line up kind of with the middle of the next one here, which would be right around here. It doesn't have to. It could be over there as well, but it gives you a bit of space to work with. So refinery. I, I'm holding on control. Now I want the input on the left. We're going to stick it right about there. Now it needs power, obviously. And so do, once these generators are built, they need to be hooked up to the power as well. So I'll bring a power line over this way. I'll stick one on the, kind of the back end here. I'll go there. That'll feed the refinery. And then we'll make a belt. I'm kind of out of my uh, fast belt here. Let's see if we can reach it. No. I'm gonna have to use a slower belt but, which won't work, but we'll, we'll use it anyway. You need a Mark IV belt for this part. Actually, that's not true. You need a Mark IV belt um, coming out of the refinery, or coming out of the oil well if you're overclocking it. But as it stands right now, you can probably get away with a, uh, oops, let's see here. Yeah, you can get away with a Mark II belt because that's only pumping out 120 oil per minute. So from here, since it's split 60-60, we could even use a slow belt. But I'm going to use a Mark III belt for now. I like using Mark IV belts everywhere just because I like seeing things move quickly and it gets the fuel in there faster, or the oil in there faster. Okay, here comes the oil. we got to pick fuel as our output. And then we'd put a splitter kind of right in front of this. Kind of right here. Hopefully that's lined up. Yep. And then because the the fuel coming out of here is only 37.5 per minute, you can get away with a really slow belt and branch off here. And then we would add two more. Two more right here. So that's the first one, then the second one, then the third one. Kind of like I have set up over here. Kind of like that. One, two, three, and then we split it three ways. There's a little bit extra fuel that doesn't get used up, but uh, this is pretty much the ratio. So we could support six generators uh, from that existing oil well, which, uh, let me just see what the power is. I did the calculations here. Uh, let's see. Well, they're 150 each, so 150, 300, 450, and then another 450, 900 megawatts out of out of just one oil well without overclocking it. I think I did that math right. Let's just go down here. Now I'm gonna overclock it to its full potential. We're gonna put three power shards in there. And we're going to crank it up all the way. So now we got 300 oil per minute. That's why I need the Mark IV belts to get the oil up there. Because if you use Mark III, you can only do 270 per minute. You need this one, which can do 450. 
And now that we got 400, uh, sorry, uh, 300 oil per minute, we can build five refineries. And from the five refineries, we can build 15 fuel generators. And 15 fuel generators works out to 6,750 megawatts of power, which is a lot of power. Now you'll probably want to save some of your refining for plastic because you're going to need plastic and maybe rubber and let's see what thing you can do here. I think just plastic and rubber. Yeah, you probably want to save one oil well completely for plastic and rubber, maybe two. But you can get a lot of power out of this. Now I've got another setup like this uh, way on the other side of the base. Let's just check our power output now. 3800. I didn't hook this one up, so I better hook that one up. Let's do a power line right here. And then from there to there. Now I'm not using the power at the moment, so I'm just kind of wasting fuel, but now we're up to 3950. I'll just run over to my other power plant. It's going to be a little bit of a run, but we'll run over there and I'll just show you what I've got set up there. I had to build quite a pathway to get over here. As you can see, <laughs> this was really fun to build. So over, way over that way is my other power plant. I've got a coal power plant as well, but it doesn't generate as much power as these two fuel ones. There it is down there, actually. There's my coal one. It's a bit of a run, but we're going to take... Uh... Actually, we're not going to take a little bit of a high... I built a, little, built a little bit of a highway to get over to my uh, other area, but not for this one. So we'll have to drive or, or run. Got a little bit of lag sometimes when things pop in. Generally, the game runs pretty fast, but... I had to build around these stinky rocks because I didn't want to go by them. Otherwise, I would have went straight in, but... This belt here, I just used to get around faster. It's facing the wrong way. I haven't built the other way back, but... So you can just hop on this. Oh, make sure I don't kill myself here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there we go. Anyway, allows for fast, faster travel. So bear with, bear with me here. It's a little bit of a jog, but I'm just going to show you the other power plant I have. That's my original factory down there, that little one. And then I moved it upstairs here, which is where everything else is. It's kind of a one floor factory. Most of the stuff is here. I like to generate the power off site and then just have a power line going from the power plant into my base. And this thing here on here is my main bus. It's where I where I um, bring my kind of raw ingots and materials. Whoa, the lag is pretty bad here. Okay, let's go take a look at that just quickly here. Okay. So yeah, I, I put ingots along here, ores going along here, some coals going along here. Not many finished goods. And then that branches off and feeds various factories. Like that one's building motors over there. Uh, that one's building wire, which is feeding this area, which is building computers and supercomputers. And all the plastic that's going in comes from these refineries here. But that is off topic, so we'll go over to the other power plant really quickly. So I'm feeding oil here to make like main, mainly make plastic. It's kind of branching off as well. Branching and then branching. Now I'm pretty sure I left my truck here. Yeah, we're gonna drive instead of run. Hopefully I got fuel in this guy. Had to build a pretty long oil conveyor belt from the oil setup to get my old oil to the factory, but there's my power plant. You can see it from the edge here. 
There's a lot of fuel generators here. I think I have 12? No, 12 or 15. 15 maybe. Now in this area, um, oops, I've got three oil wells. This one is on standby because I'm not using it. This one here, this one is actually a pure one and I don't have it fully overclocked because the belt can't handle more than 420, I think. 450, sorry. So we're wasting a bit of power here. But this one's feeding my plastic, and then the one that's feeding my power is over here. Right here. And it's a normal one. It's fully overclocked, doing 300 per minute. So this is kind of what the final setup ends up looking like here. Let me get my jetpack on here. So we can get... Uh, let me get up on this tower here so I can show you everything. Bird's eye view. I wanted to start at the other one just to show you how to build it, but this one's already fully built, so. We will go take a look at it. Up we go, Geronimo. Okay. Nice little view there. It was a nice pristine lake before I kind of turned it into this giant uh, CO2 fume spewing factory. Okay, so we got five, one, two, three, four, five ref oil refineries. Those all split off three, three, three for each fuel generator. So we got 15 fuel generators. They're not all running at full capacity because I don't demand that much power yet, but I'm setting up the base so I can have lots of spare power for when I need it later on. And that's pretty much it. Um, hope you enjoyed this uh, video. It's a really short one, but I wanted to show a nice clean way to set up power. That thing in the background is a geothermal generator. That thing does 200 uh, megawatts. Once you find Caterium, and unlock the Katerium research, you get geothermal. It's pretty good as well. It doesn't require any fuel. But that's it. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.